Hi, Gabby from Ray Studios, and today I'm going to be talking all about lens ball photography. So I'm here with Jan Jensen, who is a professional juggler and amateur photographer. Hi, what's up? Make sure to visit Jan's Instagram and YouTube channel, link in the description down below. So today we're going to be talking all about lens ball photography and what is a lens ball photography. You may have seen these kind of balls. People juggle this on the street like Jan did. Um, basically, there is some small difference between a contact juggling and a lens ball, which are, what are the base difference between one and the other one? Yeah, the lens ball should be very clear. So it has to be clear. Yeah, it's more clear than this one, than the, 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 the ball we use for juggle. And what's the reason why, why, why this clear than this? Because this one is very light. We can use it for juggling, so. Whoa. So this is, even so, I think it's a little smaller, right? Even so this is a smaller, yeah. it weighs like three times as the contact juggling. So the people that they juggle, is, is not as clear. It's, it's, it looks not as clear, while this one looks much more clearer. So this is the one you want to use for photography. This costs a lot more than this. Uh, but the advantage of this is that, well, it's light, you, know, you can it's juggle really and, yeah. um, and there is also another difference. Um, basically, contact charm can be uh, on different colors, right? You can have yes. it on red, blue, yeah. while lens ball photography is only one color, it has to be clear, 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 clear. clear. So before we go ahead, we are going to go with some safety tips. First, be careful of the hard and heavy, don't hit someone with this. Yeah, if you hit someone in the head with this, you're probably gonna kill someone. Also, if you hit something, you're gonna break something. Probably the ball won't break, but you're gonna break something. Yeah. So be careful with this, treat it with care. Second tip is, this could be a fire hazard. At the moment, there is no sun, so there is no way to demonstrate, but if the sun hit it, it's like a magnifying light. Have you ever seen like, like when you were a kid and with the magnifying light, you burn the ants? This is exactly the same. So you can start a fire, as a matter of fact, I burn one of my camera bags with this scene in literally 20 seconds. I just put it down, check my picture on the camera. Camera was like on fire, my camera bag. So be very careful. What I do, I always keep it in a bag that protects it from scratches and protects it from the sun. So you don't start a fire. So now let's just go ahead and start taking photos with it. Uh, you don't even need a camera. You, you can use your phone for photography. It's quite good for In Indeed baseball. you can. Yeah. I mean, if you have a camera with different lenses, it would be better, but it's not necessary. You can just use your phone. So as you can see, uh, lens ball photography is pretty fantastic for landscape and travel photography. And you, you do travel a lot doing shows yes, and stuff. Yes. And wherever you go, there's like a million people shooting pictures of everything, right? Yes. But your picture looks different. <laughs> Why is that? Because he used a lens ball. So while everybody have the same exact picture, he's gonna have a very different picture, very creative. Um, by the way, as we're talking, you can see some of Jan's pictures, some of my pictures as well. One of my pictures with the lens ball uh, actually got into like a photo exhibition. I, I got an award from that. So yeah, it's actually, uh, you know, you make the difference. And if you've been a photographer for many years and you never try it, try it. You will kind of like get something new and it's interesting. It's definitely something uh, that you can play around with and have some fun. Another tip that I want to give you is like, uh, they're heavy these balls, especially the lens ball when they're big. Uh, I have a seven inch, he, the contact challenge he have, they're like nine inch, right? Nine, the size is nine yeah. inch. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they're nine inch. Nine to 10. Right? Nine to 10 inch, yeah. so they're, they're bigger, but they're lighter. And then the lens, uh, the lens ball photography, you have a seven inch, seven mine or eight or something like that. So they take space in your camera bag, they're heavy. I have a mini one that I always take with me no matter what. It's not the greatest quality, but I get that distinctive touch when I do landscape and everything. Another tip is these little crystal pedestals. See, you put the ball in here, it steals directly on the, on, on the ground or hold it in your hand. And the reason I use this is because whatever gets reflected on the ball is gonna look upside down. And if you use this, it gets really easy to flip that around in editing software, I, either Photoshop, and sometimes I even use PixR on my phone. I just quickly shoot on my phone and, and get it flip around directly on my phone. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. uh, comment, <laughs> comment in the section down below. Make sure to check Jan's channel for sure and his Instagram. That's it for today. This is Gabby from Ray Studios. Till next time. See you next time.